My name is Adam Piot. I'm a Santa Barbara based creative and my forms of creativity are painting and music. You know, when I was growing up in Pakistan, that is not when I really learned how to cook. Suddenly one day I find out I'm finishing college, getting married and now I had to learn how to cook. So who do I turn to? My family cook who had been in the family for many, many years. Greetings, my name is Glenn Wallman. I'm a physician having spent 30 years of my practice in the specialty of emergency medicine, where I treated people with life-threatening injuries, critical illnesses, and sometimes in the act of dying. I love to inspire people to figure out who they are and what they want to do in life, or simply how to make their life meaningful, to understand why they're on this earth. No matter what we think we think, we are going to act on the basis of what our subconscious program is running at the time. This has a lot to do with our past conditioning, and in order to change this, we have to recondition the subconscious. The only way that this can be done really effectively is around the time of sleep with special meditative techniques. Fairy tales aren't just for children. Fairy tales can also teach us how to become our own heroes, to go through adversity. The reason why we love those stories is because they actually speak to something deeper inside of us. The reason we keep telling them over and over again throughout different cultures and in different languages is they can show us how to overcome our own fear and also give us hope for an outcome when we're in our darkest place. There's a common belief that there are universal aphrodisiacs. In other words, that a smell or taste can promote or elicit a sexual attraction or behavior. But in fact, that's not the case. As it turns out, uh, scents and smells are very personal, very specific. So if you want to find an aphrodisiac, you have to go investigate yourself and look at what early experience, uh, the context and the emotion that that was connected and you'll find your own personal aphrodisiac. Hi there. Do you have friends who suck the life out of you because they come to you for advice and never take it? Are you tired of giving your good thinking to them and having it wash out the door? Well, the way to stop this cycle is to use open-ended questions. What is an open-ended question? A question that does not have a yes or no answer or a solution embedded in it. The requirement to take this class is to be alive and to care. Are you invested in doing it well? Matters of fate have become matters of choice. Now the difference between fate and choice is knowledge. If you don't have a knowledge, then you have no choice. In class, we have fun. We do writing exercises, we share. It is my no, 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 no song. We create a safe space for creative exploration. I'll help you to understand how songs are put together and then bringing that fun into form. So it's common for people to be nervous when they're first learning to dance, especially with a partner dance. Oh, Jimmy, no, let's talk this over. So a couple things. Number one, if you come with a partner and you really don't want to rotate with new people, you don't have to, although we really encourage it. It's nice taking classes together with other students because we enhance our ability to stay in a position for longer. I will play beautiful music and the experience of being in community enhances your ability to go deeper into a pose. I would like uh, you to come and, and take a yin yoga class with me and walk out of it with a deep sense of relaxation and the joy that you committed a whole hour for your own well-being. <laughs>